Tonight on CBS 19 at 10, a man pushing 500 pounds decides to get healthy. We'll have a look at his transformation so far in our Fit City Report tonight at 10. Now on to this morning's top stories. Good morning and thanks for joining us for this CBS 19 This Morning Update. I'm Clint Yates. And I'm Dana Huey. A memorial service will be held today for a Gladewater High School student killed in a one-vehicle rollover on Wednesday morning. It happened just before 8 on FM 2685 in Gladewater, just three miles from school. Investigators say 16-year-old Nicholas Santo Reyes Weisinger was a passenger in a Jeep driven by his brother, 18-year-old Tristan. He lost control of the Jeep. Nicholas was pronounced dead at the scene. A longtime member of Panola County law enforcement is dead following a car accident. Deputy Constable Byron McMillan was killed in a crash yesterday on Highway 79 near Fair Play. He was off duty when the accident happened. McMillan worked for the Panola County Sheriff's Office for 28 years before being hired at the Panola County Constable's Office in 2012. He was also an instructor at the East Texas Police Academy. Looking ahead now, Tyler's water department is warning that the water coming out of your faucet hmm. might taste funny for a little while. Wednesday, the city announced a month-long change in the way it disinfects water. In two weeks, workers will turn up the amount of chlorine used and temporarily stop using another chemical. You might experience low water pressure and notice strange colors and smells in the water. The city of Tyler says the water will be safe to drink and it will cut down on the number of fire hydrants you see opened up randomly around town. What we're proposing to do with the free chlorine conversion uh, will allow us to maintain uh, the water quality while reducing the amount of flushing and inconvenience that we cause our citizens. After the month of new treatments is done, the city will go back to the old way of disinfecting the water. That method provides cleaning abilities that last longer. Hmm. Well, pretty nice start to our morning out there. Let's check in with Albert Byrne. Clinton Dana, here's what you can expect with your hour-by-hour -hour forecast. Notice all the clouds stay out to the west, and even that rainfall activity is going to be out well out to the west of us. We're going to stay dry here. High pressure at the surface is being uh, dominated from a high-pressure system across the northeastern part of the country, so you can see the dry air there as we put this into motion. All that moisture st stays well to the south of us, so no rainfall expected in our area. And as we go in, even into tomorrow morning, we're going to be seeing those high clouds maybe around the area, but all in all, mostly sunny skies and dry conditions. Let's take a look at your day planner forecast. We're looking at 62 degrees this morning. We should warm up by noon about 81 degrees. We should top out later on this afternoon right around 87 degrees. We'll see those east winds at 5 miles per hour. Your day planner forecast as uh, we go into the first part of your, or actually through the last part of your weekend, notice dry and warm continues. Maybe a slight chance of rain on Saturday, but all in all, dry and warm across the region. All right, thank you for the very latest all day long. Go to cbs19.tv or tylerpaper.com. And tune in later today for CBS 19 News at 5, 6, and after Thursday night football. We do hope you have a great day.